Hello, welcome back to IFTV. I'm Kim Ingalls and it's day two of the NWG Innovation Festival at Newcastle Racecourse. Yesterday was big, today is going to be even bigger. It's time for our teams to stop just talking and get creative. They've got big problems and they need to solve them. Well, I was here last year and I was doing my alter ego at Elvorn Spencer and I loved it. I loved the whole environment. It's about double in size. I can't believe the breadth of people, of subjects, of sponsors. It's wonderful. So presumably next year it'll take over the whole race course. So we've seen our teams coming up with problems and they're in the tents now doing exactly that. Maybe they can solve some of mine. Day two, how's it go for you? It's going fantastic. We've just heard from three fantastic speakers around some of the UK's most famous brands. Procter & Gamble talked about how they use customer insight to drive some of the brands that they operate as an organisation. So are you down to problem solving? How far have you got? Yeah, so now we, we're taking that inspiration and we're diving into the, the, the real nitty gritty of the, the five day process. So the guys behind me are now just plotting out a, a, a journey through life for a water customer to look at those various interaction points and opportunities to create moments where we can engage those customers in a deep and meaningful way. I think we're very clear on where we need to be at the end of today. We really need to be in the place where we've got some ideas that we can start to build on tomorrow. So today is going to be a lot of hard work, getting our heads down, running the various exercises that we've got to do so we've got something to build on for the rest of the week. Well, I will be back later to see if you're back on track and got to where you want to be. Yeah, I'm sure we will be by that point. Hi. Um, you dug yourself a hole yesterday. How are you getting out of it? Oh, we have got it. We filled it back in, believe it or not, already. So we're looking at solutions. We're looking around at solutions from around all over the world who have tackled this problem before and seeing what we can learn from them. Where are you hoping to be by the end of today? So for the rest of the week, we're going to be building a platform. So we need enough out of today to give us what does the platform need to do? And how's it going? Everybody's very quiet because they've got their headphones on, they're listening intently. Yeah, so there's a real sort of spirit of uh, wanting to get to the solution. We're very, very clear about the objectives of the day, so they're absolutely focused, as you can see. Right, we'll let you get back to it. OK, thanks. I was quite surprised at how many um, companies have taken part and are keen to make things better. This is my second day here today, and I've got to say, the two days, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Really have. I was just absolutely stunned that people were saying, what do you think? What are your views? How do you feel? And it's just so, so open. It's so superbly organised. Brilliant. Oh, I'm a sucker for an animal. Hello, my name's Kim. What's your names? My name's Ross Stevenson. This is Snipe. The Hello, Snipe. Dog. The what? Water leak detection dog. Right, that kind of answers my question. I'm going to say, why have you brought a dog to the festival? So what's Snipe trained to do? So Snipe's trained to detect the chlorine in the water that's uh, being pushed through the pipelines on the mains. Snipe, Snipe, come here. How much are they paying you? A lot of biscuits. And what do you think of the show so far? Oh, you're cute. Oh. <laughs> Aha, I found you. Hey, Kim. This looks really good. What's it all about? Um, well, this is our de design students that so captured yesterday. So we were, our big question was, what was, what will tomorrow's future look like? We're going to have vehicles powered by sleep. I quite like that one. Parliament is our bit of our roadblock. Where do we get the funding from? Where do we get money from? And this is what we have now. We've got a polluted city, so we talked about zero carbon futures and how we were going to get there. So loads of problems. Have you started solving them? What's your biggest challenge today? I think our biggest challenge is mindset. Change the way we think. Change our culture. Where are you going to be by this afternoon? By this afternoon, we've got a lot of speakers today, so we've got a lot of speakers to get through. We're doing some exercises, starting to look at the roadblocks.
Now your sprint just started today. Tell us what your challenge is. Right, our challenge is how we actually re get behaviours changed with our customers to actually reduce the water that they use from around about 140 to 150 litres down to 110 litres. We've got customers in our sprint which is great so we can actually work with them to actually find out exactly what it is that they want. The reason we don't think about water and how much we use is we can't actually visualise how much water we use so we're trying to make it real for customers so when we say you use and how much water you use in a bath as opposed to a shower they actually know how much that difference is it's real to them the left leg on the drop on the drop of water if you wash clothes at lower than 30 degrees centigrade Right hand on the water drop if you don't buy bottled water but drink tap water instead. Oh! oh. <laughs> She's out! She's out! <laughs> We've got a winner! So Sophie, what's your involvement with the festival? Um, well, I've been responsible for organising a lot of the STEM stuff. And remind us, the STEM theory is what? So STEM, it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And so one of the big things that we try and do with the company is encourage kids to get excited about science, maths, technology, engineering. I've heard talk of poo and astronauts and spacesuits. Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> and behind me at the moment, we've got Centre for Life are doing a poo show. So just talking about us humans as poo machines and absolutely learning what astronauts do when they're in space. One of the things that we were looking at was um, how we uh, looked at developing greater um, links and with, with, with biz businesses. So the Great Exhibition is a, is a, is a, is a family festival, it's for the, for the public. Um, probably things that we haven't done as well, which are you know, the stuff that's going on here in terms of thinking about um, recycling the whole environmental side of things. I think they're, they're important messages to develop as the, as the Great Exhibition develops. I think the, the, the friendliness of everybody and how they're inviting and looking after uh, kids as much as looking after the innovation itself. It's just a lovely, friendly atmosphere. <sighs> Let's hope our teams have been more creative than that. It's time to see what they've been up to on day two. What have you achieved today? We've, well, we haven't quite yet, but we will have come up with a whole load of use cases. That sounds like real problem solving that you've done today, real progress. So what about tomorrow? What does that hold? So tomorrow the, the sprint changes completely. We go, we've got seven groups of people. We go into three streams of work. One, build the platform. Two, write up sharing principles and three, write a business case and that's what we do to the end of the week when we present back. So, have you caught up with yourself? What have you achieved today? Yeah, so we, we've used the, the day to make some real momentum. Today is a key day for the sprint. Yes, it's a successful day. We're really very much looking forward to tomorrow when Arsenal Football Club is going to be joining us so they can bring real life examples of a typical fan journey and some of the engagement challenges that those guys have. It's coming home! Yeah, definitely, definitely coming home tomorrow. <laughs> That's a big truck you've got there. What's this all about then? Absolutely. This is a CNG truck, so it's compressed natural gas. Are you where you want to be for the close of play on day two? I think we will be. I think we're, we're right there. Um, some great ideas coming through. There's a bit of problem solving starting to come through, but not just problem solving in silos. People are seeing that we're going to have to work together. And tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm hoping it's going to explode. <laughs> There's a real buzz in this tent, considering it's only day one, they've really hit the ground running. Have you achieved what you set out to achieve today? Yes, we have. I say, what this morning was all about was bringing the group together, making everyone feel comfortable and really part of one team, that everybody has a voice, everyone's really important, and that they as customers have a real insight into what is important to them, is important to a lot of customers who can't be represented today. Now, you remember Hannah from yesterday, our plastics guru this is what you created yesterday tell us about it well so this part shows when the coral under the sea is like really bright and colorful and then it gradually like dies and this is when it's 
dead because of all the plastics that's in the sea, so it kills it. How far have you come today? What do you think you've achieved? Um, well, I know that more people are definitely like trying to solve the plastic pollution incidents and it is good because I, that's what I want. So you're still making a run for Prime Minister? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that's the same answer as yesterday. When are you going to say yes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So the magic has really started to happen. We've seen problem solving, creativity and lots of innovation and that is what it's all about. I can't wait for tomorrow. See you then on IFTV.